Hey guys, John here from Sunning Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel once again. In today's video, we're going to do a comparison of these two wonderful amplifiers by Wong's Amplification, the HD30 and the HD15. I love these amplifiers and I love Wong's amps in general. I think they are awesome. These affordable boutique amplifiers are made by hand in the Wong shop in China. And especially these HD amplifiers are right up my alley because they do have high gain tones in them. But also sparkly cleans and great and rich sounding crunch tones. But yeah, the high gain tones especially are very fat on these amplifiers. Really nice. Now I've done various videos with these amplifiers. I recently did a demo and review of the HD30 on the channel. So if you're interested, do look them up on the channel. Both are loosely based on the Soldano SLO amp. You all know that famous and very expensive amplifier. But of course the HD15 is 15 watts with two 6V6 tubes in the power section. And the HD30 is 30 watts with two 6L6 tubes in the power section. And today I want to find out how much of a difference the power section and the power tubes makes for the tone. This will be a lot of fun and definitely interesting and I hope you'll enjoy this too. I will be comparing these amplifiers on the normal channel with the clean mode as well as on the crunch mode and of course also the drive channel for some high gain tones. For all the tones in this video the amplifiers are being fed into my RED7 amplification amp central reactive load and then into Ohnhammer 412 rect essential IRs, the low gain, mid gain and high gain mic mixes respectively. Okay, let's get started with the clean tones. So that's the normal channel on the clean mode for both amplifiers with the bright switches off. I'm using my Gibson Les Paul Custom here on the neck pickup. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Okay, there definitely is a difference. The HD30 seemed to have more headroom overall, which isn't surprising, of course. You can still hear that these amps are very similar, but the headroom is just better on the HD30, so the HD15 sounds a bit more compressed and a little bit more dark, basically. Now, the master volume on the HD15 was set a little bit higher, but even in the DAW, I had to raise the volume of those tracks to get them to the same level as the HD30. So I guess we can conclude that at least for the clean channel, the HD30 is a louder amp with more headroom. And again, that's not surprising. So more headroom and more clarity and a bit more compressed and a warm sound on the HD15 with less loudness. I do prefer the 30 watt amp here, but the 15 doesn't sound bad at all. Cool, now let's switch to the crunch modes on the same channel for a nice and thick crunch. And for these tones, I'll be using my Gibson Les Paul Standard on the bridge pickup, which is a Seymour Duncan JB. All right, let's check it out right now.
right, and again, similar differences as with the clean tone, more headroom and more clarity on the 30, and a more warm and compressed sound on the 15. I did try to make some small adjustments on the 15 to make it sound closer to the 30, but still, the differences are pretty apparent to my ears. More sizzle on the 30 watt amp, and a bit more of a scooped sound, and a warmer sound on the 15. So again, more compressed, and I guess you could say that you can really hear those six V6 tubes working here. With lower levels, the differences would probably be less apparent, but we are trying to hear the differences between the power tubes here. So pushing them a little bit will help you to hear the differences. So again, definitely more headroom on the 30 watt amplifier, of course. All right, now let's check out the drive channel for some high gain tones. And for these tones, I'm gonna use my ESP LTD NW44 with the Baronicle Aftermath pickup in the bridge. Let's just go ahead and take a listen right now. So again, the differences are the same. More headroom on the 30 and a more fat, warm and compressed sound on the 15. So this one does sound a little bit more scooped and American with a bit more sizzle up top. And this one just sounds a bit warmer and more compressed, obviously. So that was pretty interesting indeed. Perhaps for single coil pickups, this one would be better. And of course, for playing at home at lower levels, but for more oomph and a bigger rock tone, the 30 is hard to beat. I really like both amplifiers and I'm glad to have them both, but in this case, I do think that the HD30 is the clear winner for my personal taste. Of course, I'd also love to know your thoughts, so be sure to let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this subject. Did you prefer the HD30 over the HD15 or the other way around? I would love to know your thoughts. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers. It's a double wangy.